We have to stop compromising to the propaganda. So I say this and we volley back. One of the things we did to push back against the nonsense is not only put up the sign, but we told our folks we so believe in our First Amendment right to gather under this tent and to worship Jesus Christ that if you show up with your propaganda machine and you try to impede on our First Amendment right, I said our boys will meet you at the door of this tent with our Second Amendment right because we're not playing your Democrat games. This is a church, and we're going to stand. And this is Pastor Greg Locke using his First Amendment. I mean, this is what it's all about. It's standing up against the propaganda machine. That's what church and preachers is all about, standing up against the propaganda machine and actually telling people that if we perceive you to be part of that media pushing that propaganda, we will show up with guns at the door of the church to shun you, maybe shoot you, I guess, in case you don't run off quickly enough. You know, because he's teaching all those beautiful loving messages from the Bible about shooting people in the face. I remember that, I grew up in the church. Anyways, we're gonna get to more about how unloving he is, but he did share the stage with the purest figure he could possibly think of. You probably think of him when I said pure, watch. We have two parties in this country, the patriots and the traitors. This is not about Republican and Democrat anymore. It is about those who believe in our constitutional freedoms and are ready to fight for them. And it is those who have sold us out, those who will buckle to the machine. This is a struggle between dark and light, between good and evil, between the godly and the godless, and we dare not fail or we step off into a thousand years of darkness. Stone went on to defend the January 6th riders as well because this Christian event in a Christian uh, tent where they're talking to the congregation, Somehow went super political, especially when Roger Stone got up there. But it started, of course, with Pastor Locke. Um, let's jump. Let's skip that last uh, that last video there, you guys, because I want to get to some of the details of what it is that they didn't learn in their Bibles that they're waving around in front of people next to their guns. So uh, the Bible teaches about love. Here, here's, here's a passage from the Bible. So Luke chapter six, verses twenty-seven through twenty-nine. I know you guys. We're gonna we're gonna take you to church. So uh, uh -huh. it says, but I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from uh, from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Wow, Leviticus uh, uh, chapter 19 verse 18 says this. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Have they read this part yet? The fact that they haven't and they don't know anything about the love parts of the Bible means they're probably false prophets. which the Bible talks about them too. Let's jump straight down to the Deuteronomy one, you guys. Graphic four, because this one's the one I love the most before you jump in here, Maz. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20 says, But a prophet who presumes to speak in the name of anything I have not commanded, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, is to be put to death. <laughs> so, I mean, we can talk about shooting people, but God right now is telling you, you false prophets who are mixing your politics and your violence with your Christianity in order to get people to follow you, he wants you dead. I think the Republicans are about as weak as they possibly could be in the in Congress. You have maybe six that are worth their salt. Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, and two or three others. The rest of them are just the same as the Democrats. They've been there too long. They're establishment. They don't care about the American people because they're in their elite little tower. And so we're just sick of it, you know? And we're not gonna we're not gonna take it anymore. I see a civil war coming. I do. I see civil war coming. Well, you know, there's a part of the Bible. I don't know if you've, if you know, they say Jesus turned water into wine, but he also turned um, uh, metal parts into ghost guns. Did you know that? That was another thing he did. He also turned a lot of single shot guns into semi-automatic. There's a whole chapter of uh, Leviticus. Uh, it's an NRA version. But anyway, the the point is, is these guys are out of their NRA minds. <laughs> They're they're out of their minds, and and I thought when the like Roger Stone was talking about good and evil, the good must win, and I'm looking and go, that's Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazard behind him. Rob Schneider was on the stage with him, and I was like, oh no, I th that when I first came to America, I used to watch the Dukes of Hazard. I was like, those are the good guys. Yeah, but you come to find out, those are the guys who had stormed the Capitol. That 
it's they've been they've been rednecks and racist from the beginning. They 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 they, they, they tricked me. JR, I, I was all. rooting for the Dukes of Hazard. Oh no. Oh you no. Look back, I've looked back at that and I've been like, there's a Confederate flag on that. <laughs> yeah, there's a Confederate flag on their car. <laughs> so very, very uh once again I use the word sad because I don't know what is going on in people's heads. And and it's interesting how they manipulate it. You said they manipulate everything to go into whatever their argument is. Their argument is I want more guns. Because these guns will give me the freedom to defend my right, the freedom, freedom of speech, um, and 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 the truth is, let's face it, you've got your freedom of speech, and it's gotten to the point where there's a lot of crazy people who believe the lies that you spew, 